Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to share three cards and all my cards are going to be with hearts so they are perfect for our upcoming Valentine's Day. I'm also going to be showcasing products from the latest release by Simon Says Stamp which is called You Are Loved. First of all, I'm going to use this uh, die that cuts out six hearts and uh, they are all perfectly aligned. This um, die is called Windows to My Heart and you can use both the hearts that it cuts out. You will see that I will use one of them in uh, the second card or you can use the panel just like I will do for this card. So I am going for a shaker card that I absolutely love. At the back I have added some uh, double sided tape and now on top I am sticking down some acetate so my windows are ready. Now we will go ahead and add some foam tape all around the windows. As it is you can add your shaker mix but uh, in my case I wanted to have individual pockets so that uh, you will always be able to see the mix, the sequin mix inside all of those hearts. And the fun part about individual pockets is that you can actually use different sequin mixes for each and every heart. Now I am going to create the background that will go at the back of my shaker uh, panel. So I applied a couple of colors of Distress Oxide inks on top of my nonstick craft mat. Now I'm just smoothing my paper on top. I'm going to give it a heat uh, dry and then I will do the same process one more time just to have some splashes here and there. The colors that I used are uh, Spice Marmalade and Picked Raspberry. And as I'm doing this process, I want to let you all know that um, this is actually part of a blog hop. Make sure to visit my blog, you will find there lots of giveaways if you hop along with us and tons of inspiration. I also need a sentiment for my uh, card, so I used one from the Love Messages stamp set. This is a new released stamp set as well, perfect for Valentine's Day. I am embossing uh, the sentiment that says I love you with white embossing powder over black cardstock and I'm just going to cut out a strip out of it to create a little sentiment. So now I have everything ready to go. It's now time to put everything together. I'm adding my sequin mix inside all those little pockets and I went monochromatic in terms of my confetti. But again, you can use different colored uh, mixes in each and every uh, heart. And now I will remove all the backing from my foam tape and just stick uh, the background paper on top. I used some uh, foam tape at the back of my sentiment and I'm going to stick it in place. And all I have to do now is to just stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And here are some close-up photos on the first card for today. Today's cards all use hearts as well as the same color combo of Distress Oxide inks. So just different ways to use the products that you have on your table. Now I'm going to use a combination of stencils. These three stencils of hearts come together in one package. They are called heart layers. You can layer one on top of the other to create beautiful designs. I decided to go just with the two of those layers. And I will start with the first one and um, again the same Distress Oxide inks. I started with uh, spiced marmalade and I'm not doing any crazy blending uh, technique here. I just apply color with my blending tool all over all of those hearts in the first stencil. Now I'm also going to add a few water splashes so that I can lift uh, some of this um, ink and uh, it is going to give a beautiful uh, design on my hearts. I'm going to remove the stencil and I will place on top the second layer of uh, the hearts Again, securing it with some purple tape just to make sure that it's not going to move on me. And I will cover it up completely with picked raspberry. Again, I will add some water splashes just to do that uh, effect that I absolutely love when it comes to Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to remove the stencil and here is the pattern that I got. Now it's really easy to turn this into a card. I went with a square card that's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I added some foam tape at the back of my panel and I'm going to stick it on top. You can stick it directly at the center or like me, just a little bit offset to add some more interest on the card. Now for the sentiment, I decided to stamp it on one of the hearts that I have left over from the first card that I shared today. And with black ink, I'm going to stamp inside adore you. I used a foam square at the back and I'm going to stick that on top of my panel 
And to finish off my card, I'm just going to add a few gems here and there, just to add some sparkle on a Valentine's Day card. A really quick and easy design, which makes it perfect to mass produce. And let's move on to another quick and simple design. This time I will be using another die set that has just been released. It is called Ornate Love. It comes with three dies of hearts with the word love as well as love you in uh, a lovely font. Now for my card today I will be using the letters that spell out love but instead of the O I'm going to use the heart. On a scrap piece of paper I'm using the two colors that I have been working with since the beginning of the video and I am creating a little blended area here with a uh, picked raspberry and spiced marmalade where I can place my dies on top and cut them out. Now that I have my cutouts ready I'm going to use this piece of uh, white cardstock and just arrange everything on top. For the letters I'm going with glue directly on top so everything is going to lay flat but you will see that for the heart I'm going to use a foam square and I'm going to pop it a little bit on top of my panel. Now I'm also using a T ruler just to make sure that everything is nicely aligned and they are completely straight on top of my panel. And I wanted the heart to overlap uh, the letters, that's why I have such a small panel so that you will see that uh, as I stick down the heart it's going to go a little bit over the L and the V. Now to finish off my sentiment I will stamp uh, just a word U from one of the sentiments included in the same stamp set that I have been using for the, from the beginning. And to make my life easy I just uh, Cut it out with my scissors to make sure that I have only the word U, but if you don't like to cut out your stamps then just use some masking tape and do a little bit of masking. Finally I'm going to add some sparkle on top of my heart by using a little gem. And here are some close up photos on the last card for today. And these were the cards for today, I hope I have inspired you to create some simple cards with hearts for Valentine's Day using just a simple combo with a couple of things that you have on your stash. Remember this is part of a blog hop, so make sure to head over to my blog to learn all the details about the blog hop, the giveaways and all the inspiration. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.